Hey, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and this is the iPhone 5 and I installed Apple iOS 7 on it. So this is the latest operating system for all your iOS devices like the iPhone, the iPod Touch or your iPad. And I want to introduce you to all the new features and the first thing you will notice is of course a new design. This is the lock screen. I set up a cool um, background and maybe you can see it see the background is moving when I'm moving the phone so that has a really nice um, feeling of three-dimensional um, text like this slide to unlock you see it looks a bit three-dimensional which is pretty cool in my opinion so and when you want to unlock you can just swipe to unlock but um, I set up a passcode so this is the new passcode login so you can type in your password of course and over here you have all your settings now you can just swipe from the bottom to the top and you have all your settings for Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, the night mode you can set up the screen brightness and the cool thing is that you now have a built-in flashlight don't have to download a flashlight app now and next to the flashlight you have the timer there's also the calculator and of course the camera but you can also access the camera with the old gesture just swiping over here from the bottom right to the top and there's the camera as well. You also have your notification bar if you just swipe from the top to the bottom you may know it already from iOS 6. It looks a bit different now. You will also notice these dots over here so they will show you your radio reception so this is also new okay and this is the new home screen and as you can see we also have the moving background over here which makes the icons look like they will just float over the screen and you will also notice that we have some plain icons now so on the first screen you will see only plain icons over here I have my apps they um, still look the same or some of them also change like the Facebook but as you can see others uh, still look like the old one but they will just constantly update their apps developers will just update their design to fit the new iOS 7 design which is as you can see plain. Another cool feature is the new multitasking feature. If you double press your home button you get to your open apps. You can see all your apps over here. So now you have the icons but also the screen what the app is showing right now. If you want to select one you can either tap this one or this one to just open up the camera for example. And if you just want to close it just swipe it to the top close 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 but as you can see we can also close two at the same time or even three at the same time that will make it definitely faster to close down all your apps really nice now I like this new multitasking one of the first things I missed was um, spotlight because as you can see if you swipe to the left over here there is no spotlight anymore it is over here so you can um, everywhere in the home screen just swipe down and you have your search um, your iPhone spotlight search and you can just type in everything so they hide it here not there anymore so you can access it everywhere now let's have a look at the settings so as you can see also this plain look we have some different buttons now 
but it pretty much looks the same. The cool thing is that of course you don't have to go to the settings anymore to activate the airplane mode. As I told you before, you can just swipe um, from the bottom to the top and you access all your settings. Uh, what I don't like is that um, these four icons are fixed so you can't change them. What if I want to just put um, some other apps over here or some other functions just like over here uh, you can't do that. That's a, uh, somehow a bit uh, frustrating. Maybe they would change it because I would uh, love to see more stuff over here. Because as you can see, we still have enough space to put even more icons there. Let's have a look at some of the core apps. So for example, weather. So you see, it's raining in Taipei. But you have all your data you already know from the other iOS. But in a newly design. How is it in Singapore? Cloudy. Really nice animation. And how is it in Hanau? Cold and foggy. Yeah, it's time to go to Taipei or Singapore. Let's have a look at the calculator. You already saw it, as you can see. New design. Some people don't like this plain look, but I'm pretty much okay with it. You have the voice recorder over here. Hello, this is my voice. As you can see, it visualizes my voice. This looks pretty cool. So you can stop it and just uh, resume. If you're done, you can just save your voice memo. Hey, this is the voice room. We have the compass, which also looks different now. Oh, we have to calibrate it. Another look. It also shows you the position of the phone now, as you can see over here at the back. And next to the compass, you have your level. And I really like the idea of this. Um, so you get rid of another app over here, because now you have a level to just show you if you have a plain surface. It will be green also over here green and like that let's have a look at the app store new design as well the top charts it all looks really simple and clean and that's what I like maps also in this new design. Notes changed a bit. We're not having this paper look anymore. The same with the new stand over here. iBook didn't change, we still have this wooden rack over here. Also passbook, still the same. But you can see we have the new option, we can scan a passbook code. If you have it on a paper, you can just scan it and put it on your phone. But I don't have a code yet. And this is the calendar. If you put it in landscape mode, you have a better view of your appointments. See the all day appointments. And over here you can just set up a normal appointment with this plus. Let's talk a bit about FaceTime because it has a new feature on iOS 7. So with FaceTime, in the past you could um, do some video calls, but with the new FaceTime you can do some normal calls without video. So if you just want to talk to your friends, you can do it now without doing the video because um, I think sometimes you just um, have no ha free hand to position your phone and you just want to talk. And the battery consumption with just um, voice is much better than voice and video. Let's have a look at the new keyboard. 
it has this design it's pretty much the same but just white and a bit gray but what I don't understand you have this keyboard yeah okay over here on spotlight you have this keyboard another color but pretty much the same but if you have other apps for example like WhatsApp you still have your old three-dimensional keyboard if you want to browse the web we have Safari and a whole new design so this is my website newgadgets.de but if you want to change it have a look at the tabs now they look really different and you may notice we're not limited to eight tabs anymore 14 tabs open right now and in this cool design and they also change when like the background if you um, tilt your phone if you want to say okay I want this uh, I want YouTube on top just press and hold it and you can put it on top if you want to close it we have this X over here close 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 and as you can see the preview is real-time I really like the new design of the Safari browser if you press and hold it you get your of course all your settings so you can save the image copy it and over here you have some settings you can say again save image you can assign the image to a contact bookmark the page copy it and you can use airdrop but uh, right now I don't have another iOS 7 device with airdrop you could just um, send this to another iOS 7 device um, just with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth the camera is also new so you can see we have all the settings down here video photo and you just need to swipe to the left or the right so if you want to take a video you take a video now photos square so some um, apps require a square picture just like um, Instagram you can do a square picture right away right now and you have your panorama mode and it's super fast so take a picture of this focus and done see can really take a lot of pictures it's really fast now over here you have other settings like the LED light but as you can see it's um, the on off it's not really um, it's not looking good and it's not Apple like as you can see the off is inside the HDR so what is this this really looks bad and if I uh, turn off um, the LED light I turn on the HDR what is this and I'm really not satisfied with this um, they really should make it um, pop up down to the center not to the side and that's not what I expect from Apple because they always say okay we're passionate to design and user friendliness and everything if I want to turn off the LED I turn on the HDR this is not really nice over here you can um, flip the camera to have the front camera now and what's also new you have your filters but just nine of them and they're not really um, nice but uh, you have them you can use them but I'm not a fan of filters and if I want to use filters I use it in um, like Facebook or Instagram because they have much nicer filters if you want to have a look and a preview of your photo just click this and you have all your photos Apple made some major changes in the photo app when we open it up you can see we have um, albums and photos so you can see we have the camera roll photo stream your panoramas and also videos now so as you can see all the panoramas are now um, viewed in their actual size which is really nice With all your albums of course and if you go to photos you can see um, they're sorted now with um, years if you just 
open it up, you can see, okay, we have um, some um, collections. For example, oh, this one was made in Munich, this one was made in Frankfurt, this one was made in the Atlantic Ocean, and there, Manhattan. And if you press it, you can see all the pictures over here were made um, directly here or here. So you can see, uh, wow, I made a picture of bacon over here in this hotel. And yeah, this is pretty nice. So when we go back, um, but you can also say, okay, I'm uh, I'm here, and then what pictures were made uh, over here on the 15th and 16th of March, and there was one made 16 and 17 over here, Midtown Manhattan. So this is really cool. So you see all your collections over here in the years. Um, so it's much more versatile. But if you have it horizontally, it doesn't show the world map anymore, which uh, I think that's pretty um, sad because I wanted to watch all my pictures on the world map, but it's not possible now. You can just say, okay, I want 2013 shown or um, 2012 shown over here, but um, not all the pictures anymore. Too bad. And Ziri changed a bit, so when you press and hold, you open up Ziri. Hello, Ziri. Hey. So Ziri got a better voice, in my opinion. What time is it? It's 16.12. How far is it to Singapore? Singapore is about 10,252 kilometers away. Johannes. So, um, you see, we have a new design because Siri is now final, not in the beta stage anymore. And we got a cooler voice, in my opinion. So, these are all the things you can ask Siri. So this was my introduction of the new Apple iOS 7, so thanks for watching, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up over here on YouTube and subscribe my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video.